whole neighborhood was destroyed by a flood. And we're trying to rebuild the neighborhood and the house, and it starts raining again. It's coming down pretty good now. We got sandbags out front keeping the water out on the street. If the rain continues like this, we, uh, we're looking at a second flood. A freak storm, one of the most powerful we've seen in years. Hail covered the streets like snow, flash floods all across lots, where five inches of rain came down in just two hours. Sweet Alice Harris, she's been helping thousands of children, but now she's lost everything. All of her possessions are now completely contaminated by flood water. Oh. They had to sleep in the cars for a couple days until they cleaned out all the water damage and the sewage and all that. Now it's a chance for us to give something back to them. Let's do it. All right, guys, let's go give somebody a wake-up call. Good morning, Sweet Alice. Good morning, Harris family. Sweet Alice, Alan, Alvinia, Warwick, and Ashley, wake up and come on out here. <laughs> Do y'all know you in work? <laughs> so listen, I only, I only see three of you guys. Where's your daughter and your granddaughter? Well, because she have asthma and there's dust on the cement flow in there, uh -huh. she can't stay She has here. to sleep somewhere else. Right. So she's across the street? She's across the well, street. Well, I'll tell you what. Stay here. I'm going to go get them. I'll be right back. <laughs> So Louvenia, Alice's oldest daughter, lives across the street. That's where actually Alvinia and Ashley have been staying. Good morning, Alvinia and Ashley. Come on out here. I need to talk to you. Hi there. Hi. You are? We're excited too. So sweet ass, let me tell you what's gonna happen. First of all, you guys are going to a little relaxing beach retreat near San Diego for a week on us. Well, we don't have a lot of time, so you guys show me the house, pack your stuff, and then we gotta get you out of here because we only have a week. Designers, we have a week. The clock starts now. Now, usually when I walk into a house, you know, I ask everybody, so what kind of changes would you like to see? Okay. But I get the feeling that a flood has made the changes for you. It really has. Wow. Things are kind of barren. Everything is gone. We brought this in so we can have something to sit in in here. Wow. We had carpet on the floor. And so the flood and the rain destroyed all that? It was high up to here. To your knees? Oh, wow. Uh, just like a tidal wave. You know, it happened so quick. You know, I was just dumbfounded. There's not much left of the house in the sense that it was, it's, it's just a barren wasteland because a natural disaster hit. Wow. A lot of concrete. And a lot of concrete. Look at this huge crack. Look at all the damage that this flood caused. This was the dining room area here. The family eat here, but also the homeless people come in and they eat here also. So you cook for a lot of people? Huh? Yes, I do. Well, let's say on a Thanksgiving or whatever, how many people do you usually cook for? Anywhere from four to 500. What? They be outside, they come and go. You feed four to 500 people out of that kitchen? Of course. And in the yard, you know, I barbecue out in the yard. So you usually run like three, three girls at once sometimes? Sometimes four. Who are these people that you're feeding? The homeless. The homeless? Yeah, the ones that, see, you want them to know it's a holiday. Just come right here and sit down. Y'all got to let me have a barbecue for you. Oh, we will? Oh, I'm the best. I know you are. All this stuff is all rotted out from water. We'll give them a whole new kitchen with um, an island. Primo. Yeah. Tracy. That's a beautiful piece. And this is secretary. That's my great, great grandmother. Oh, this is nice. I bet you'd like to keep that one then. Yeah, I'd like to. Maybe this is the piece that we uh, put a little bit of time into. So do you miss your mama? I really do. You want the family to be united again, right? Exactly, be under one roof. Oh, yeah. In my bed to sleep in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, work, let's check out your room. You've got clothes and trash bags. Yes. And you got your bed on the floor. Yeah. I understand you're like a straight-A student. So you do a lot of studying, huh? Yeah, I do study. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I like jazz. Oh, you're a jazz fan, yeah? Mm -hmm. So how old are you? 14. 14? That's pretty cool that you're into jazz and only 14. That's a good sign. So actually, what, what are some of your favorite colors? Well, I red. like red. I understand you're also into fairies and stuff. Yes. You know what I would really like? A room where I could look over the neighborhood and see the little children and make them go home before we get in trouble. You have to be able to tell them, come in and let me help you. 
Come in and let me help you with your homework. Do something. It changes their life. destroyed by a flood. And we're trying to rebuild the neighborhood and the house, and it starts raining again. Okay, it's coming down pretty good now. We got sandbags out front keeping the water out on the street. If the rain continues like this, we, uh, we're looking at a second flood. It's pouring rain, and it starts to flood. Oh my gosh, look, you guys. I got a little glimpse of what actually happened here in Watts, and uh, it was a scary thing. The rain, the rain, the rain, the rain, the rain. What well, else? This whole thing started with some rain. But look at him, it's ending with the rain. So let's give me a clap for the rain. Thank God. to explain how happy. Only the inside of me knows. So are you guys ready to see the inside of your house? Yes. All right. Yes. Check out your house. Oh, wood. Look at here. this out. With just a touch of this button, you can actually lower these security screens and you can actually see through them. Oh, you see that? Check that out. We actually ran surveillance cameras on the roof of your house. Oh, so you can actually check out yeah, your neighborhood yeah, from inside yeah, the house. Yeah, that's it. I like this. This is nice. Oh, look at you. Bless your heart. Bless Man, your heart. Look at <laughs> Bless your heart. Two stoves, two sinks. You mean to tell me? Twice the square footage. You got everything. Oh, nice toaster. Yes, so, yes. and check this out. <laughs> you okay, sweetie? I just never thought nobody would do this to give us this down and what? I just didn't believe. And now I got what everybody else in the magazine and TV have. I didn't have to leave Watts long thinking. Couldn't leave. Couldn't leave. I didn't know nobody would do that for me. Coming from Watts, and they knew I was from Watts. But they weren't afraid to come to Watts. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> she never thought that somebody would come into Watts and do this. And uh, I think it's awfully cool that we we came into where nobody else would come and, and, uh, and do something special like that.